So before me showing you the actual projector setup, I'm going to show you the remote because it's easier for me to show you in near the window since the living room is always a dark cave. It has the YouTube button, it has the app store. Now this is not powered by Apple, this is powered by Android. No complaints about it, it's not laggy, it works perfect. The app store has, you know, CW, it has Tubi TV, Pluto TV. If you guys don't know what Pluto TV is, it's basically a free cable app. Obviously there is commercials, but you can watch live TV for free. Any app you could think of they have, they also have games. You can order like a remote and you can play games on the projector like you would do with Xbox or PlayStation, which I think is pretty cool. Obviously we aren't gonna do that because we don't play games. We're too busy working all the time. Anything that you normally use on your phone or your smart TV, they will have it built into this projector. The power button is here, mute button, backspace, the home button. This is how you control what you wanna watch on um, Netflix and stuff. You just scroll through things, press enter to select a movie or a show. Um, this you can go back to like a list. If you don't wanna type a show or a movie out, you can just say it. It's that simple. Um, and then you have the volume button here, rewind, play, pause, or fast forward. It's an easy remote. And also the best thing about this remote is that you don't need to point it directly at the projector. I was pointing it at the wall because silly me would think like, oh, a remote, all right, let me just, you know, press it near the wall because I was so used to seeing remotes for TVs. You know, TVs are usually hooked up to the wall. It made me think that you have to point at the wall, which is so silly because V was like, why are you pointing the remote at the wall when there's nothing at the wall? And I'm like, Oh my God, I'm thinking of a regular TV. But surprisingly, it works. It works with pointing at the wall. You don't need to point this at the projector, which is pretty weird slash cool at the same time. Now, most projectors you can hang on the ceilings. This one you can. They did have a ceiling hanger thingy, but we are not allowed to put any holes in the ceilings or holes in the walls in general here. So V looked up in an alternative for that and that's where this stand came in. You can make it taller, you can make it shorter. It all depends on your preference. This, the way we have it right now works great. Like I said, it's like a movie theater style. You guys will see in a bit, but it does come with an extra shelf right here for the remotes. So yeah, I will link the stand also down below for you guys. It does have wheels as you can see. So if we want to watch something in the bedroom and not be in the living room, we can unplug it from the base and we could just wheel it into the bedroom, which we have done that plenty of times and there's no problem. It looks just as great in the bedroom as it does in the living room. Getting to the main part of the video, which is the actual projector, it does have this button up here, or this little slidey button, where you can open the lens and close the lens when you are not using it. That is crucial when it comes to projectors because they are just like cameras. You do not wanna ruin that lens. If you ruin that lens or get dust on it, you're in big trouble. And that's the same thing goes for my camera that I'm recording on right now. When I am done recording, I take the lens off and I put the lens cap on. Obviously these don't come with lens caps. It's got a built in little slider like I showed you guys. Right here is the fan. And that's basically all I know. There's also other buttons up top. I don't touch those buttons. That's why I'm not gonna talk about them because I don't know what they do. I just know the basics on how to run it. And that's good enough. I try to keep things simple. <laughs> Right here is the filter for the fan. We have checked the filter. It doesn't even get that dirty. All right, you guys, so I have you on the tripod right now. So I'm gonna turn on the projector. Let me shut the lights off so you can see. I mean, you can definitely watch it in the daytime. It is a little bit lighter though. It is hard to see probably on my camera, but if you were to see it in person in the daytime, you can watch it. But on my camera, it doesn't show up as true like true color so i'm gonna shut the lights off and show you guys how the system works all right so the balcony blinds are open the sun is going down we can leave that that's perfectly fine it takes a good 20 to 30 seconds to actually load so around this time we would either grab some snacks for movie night so it looks a little light right now but that's because it is still loading like i said let it load because then the screen starts to get brighter. 
once when it's fully loaded. All right, guys, as you can see, we have Netflix, YouTube, and the Google Play Store. That's where you can download other apps or you can just, you know, go into the actual app folder and you can download things here. There's games, like I told you guys. I hope you can see this. Dominican Network. Obviously, my boyfriend is Dominican. His mother comes by and they will watch things on there. Um, ESPN, my boyfriend loves basketball, so he'll watch sports on there. This we don't have anymore. We actually canceled HBO. We didn't find anything we liked, so we canceled it. Yoga, you can do exercising on here. As you can see, it is free. CW Network, also free app. Tubi TV, that's free. Kids YouTube, when my niece and nephew come, that is what they are allowed to watch. Or the kids section on Netflix. Um, Tidal, that's another music app my boyfriend has. So as you guys can see, I mean, I don't wanna keep going through every app. I don't want you guys to get bored but you can download apps that cater to you, whatever apps you use. Lately, this is what we've been watching, Manifest, really good show. We're gonna go on to my Netflix profile. Yes, I have my own, cause I'm the only one out of the whole family that watches horror. My boyfriend has his own profile. His mother has her own profile. Let me lower this so I do not get copyrighted. Everything looks super, super crisp let me play something for you guys so you can see the projector in its full glory so this is how it looks i know it doesn't look that big but it's taking up the entire wall let me try to go up to it <laughs> and then you guys can see how big the picture actually is that's how big the actual screen is like i said Super easy to use. The speakers in the back sound great. I can't really show you it because my camera can't pick up high quality speakers, but you don't need a surround sound. I mean, if you have a Bose, like a Bluetooth Bose, then you can hook it up. But other than that, this is a decent projector. I have no complaints whatsoever about it. So on that note, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this short video. It is pricey, but it's worth it in the long run because you can do so much with that projector. Even though we only watch things at nighttime because we're always working during the day, it is nice to finally watch something bigger than our phones and our laptops. And it's also nice the fact that we don't have to drill holes in the wall or a sound bar. All you need is this projector and that's it. Super simple. Hopefully in the near future, projectors will be a lot more popular, but I've always loved the concept of just having this one little box as a TV and it can be put away or it can be hung up above the ceiling and nobody will know. You don't even need the screens anymore for these projectors. They just go right onto your wall, no problem. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple video and I will catch you in the next one.